All right, y'all, welcome back to the Commodore Arm Channel. Okay, so again, we are going to be testing some blanks out. Now, I think these are probably going to be the weakest of all the blanks that we've checked out. So we've checked out 762 blanks, uh, 556 or 223 blanks, 12 gauge blanks. We've checked out 57 blanks, nine millimeter blanks. But today we're checking out 22 blanks. And I'll just show you guys right now, these things are not very big. <laughs> Uh, so let's see if I can get this here. Okay, so you can kind of see it right there. Yeah, these things are uh, very, very short. Now these particular blanks are from CCI. And if you guys have shot 22 or, you know, rimfire, you've probably shot CCI ammo at some point. They do some pretty solid stuff. Now these are listed as noise blanks, uh, 22 shorts. These will chamber fine in the 22 long rifle and it'll work fine in a 22 long rifle. But obviously with blanks, it's not going to, to cycle it. So it's not really a big deal that it's a, a 22 short. But it says training at the bottom. From what I've seen with the reviews, people pretty much just use this for like videos, or sort of like a special effects kind of thing. But today, of course, we are using this for science. So we have a bunch of these blanks. They were pretty inexpensive. Um, if I remember, I'll put a link. <laughs> I'm gonna start using that caveat now. If I remember, I'll put a link in the video description where you guys can actually get these blanks. But of course, we're gonna be testing on a few different things. So first thing, well, in no particular order, I guess, we have a sheet of Kevlar here. This was pretty interesting because it usually just captures all the gunk that you get coming out of the actual firearm. So you can kind of see if there's any sort of fragments or just like powder leaving the barrel or just general debris. Now we have these reactive targets, which these are also pretty interesting because you can see all the little specks that sort of blast out and, and sort of shotgun blast the target. So these are always fun. So I think we're gonna sort of keep this as a, a standard. Now we have a bell pepper. I've been doing like an apple before. Uh, I think I did a banana before but uh, a bell pepper sounds interesting i feel like it's going to react a little bit differently and a little bit more satisfyingly i guess and then we also have some carbon fiber <laughs> i'll be honest i don't think it's going to do a whole lot to carbon fiber understandably it's probably just going to blast a bunch of gunk onto the carbon fiber itself but it'll still be cool to check out these are just some old carbon fiber inserts some orthotics that i got when i was in the marine corps i have a few more of these so I, I might also do another video sort of testing how how bulletproof these are so yeah if i do that i guess stay tuned and then of course we have some wood this is like some pretty cheap wood some soft wood so if anything it'll probably just burn like they usually do but even still i've always been impressed by how much the wood actually gets burned by a blank i mean it is still like a little mini explosion going on and, and leaving the barrel so it does make sense but even still like for some of the like the nine mil and the five seven blanks those were still pretty nasty so i think this is still going to burn it pretty nicely and then i have some cardboard just pretty standard stuff again we'll keep that as a as standard and then i also got some some chalk courtesy of my kids of course so <laughs> uh yeah they wanted me to try it out on this chalk which Honestly, it's kind of a good idea. I don't think it's going to do a whole lot. It's probably just going to like break it into pieces or, um, yeah, just kind of blow a little bit off of the surface. But yeah, that's pretty much what we have here. Now, as far as the actual weapons we're going to be utilizing, I have a couple. So first we have this Walter PPK in 22 long rifle. Um, I don't know. I feel like if it has a shorter barrel, we'll probably get more of a explosive effect leaving the barrel because it won't... I guess disseminate as much or it won't disperse as much when it's actually leaving the barrel but yeah we have that and then we also have an mp5 in 22 long rifle and this is actually the first time i've taken this mp5 to the range so yeah i'm definitely going to record some other videos with this but yeah that's pretty much it um we'll go ahead and get right into it we'll start with the more underwhelming stuff first i think like the paper and the cardboard and then the wood and then we'll move on to the exciting stuff like the bell pepper and the chalk and yeah should be cool i'm gonna go put my my science goggles on i got these just for these videos I mean, you need iPro, so I might as well make a joke out of it and say I'm like a scientist or something, because that's what YouTubers do, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie, it looks kind of cool. <laughs> uh, of course, a lot of people will, uh, will go ahead and disagree with that. But Okay, so the first thing we're going to utilize is the PPK. So I'm going to get this stuff out of the way. Now, I don't know, I think the bell pepper is going to have the coolest effect, to be honest. Um, and that's just because I haven't seen what a blank does to a bell pepper yet. And this is also kind of old, so it's like a little bit soft. 
So yeah, I think that's probably going to have the coolest effect out of all these. Okay, so there is the round inside the magazine. Again, it is a 22 short, so it's not going to go all the way to the front, but it does seat no issue whatsoever. So the nice thing about today at least is it's not too windy because I don't know, for some reason when, it, like literally whenever I do these videos specifically, it is always just super rainy, super windy. Like my camera's getting blown over and stuff. And it's, yeah, it's just, it's not a fun time. So luckily today it's uh, at least cooperating a bit. All right, exposure is set. I think the angle looks pretty okay. And we'll adjust the angle ever so slightly. Okay, well, first things first is the cardboard. Oh wait, I need to get my ear pro in. Okay, ear pro is in, eye pro is on. So let's go ahead and get started with the cardboard. Damn, that was like pretty like directional. I mean, I don't know, we were probably like three inches off and it still managed to like punch a pretty like neat hole there. Again, you can kind of see like all the little specks surrounding it, which is most likely just debris from inside the barrel. But of course, this thing is definitely gonna be launching some some gunpowder out as well. So, okay, um, a little bit neater than, than what we've seen with other blanks, like the, the 762 by 39 blank. That was uh, pretty insane. So yeah, of course, if you guys haven't seen what these blanks look like after you shoot them, yeah, it basically just takes that, that crimped end and kind of opens it up like that. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, so next we're gonna move on to the paper, which again, I think we're gonna see a pretty similar result as far as like the little specks and everything. Um, I just think it's gonna punch a slightly bigger hole. We'll try and use it on the same sort of distance though. Man, it's so nice that it's not windy, I gotta say. Because <laughs> I would not be able to do this. Okay, and we'll do it, we won't do it on the red, we'll do it on the, the blue so we can see it a little bit better. Huh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can really see all the little specks and stuff coming out now, which is very, very cool. It didn't really punch a, a hole necessarily. I think we were a little bit further away, but okay, we'll try that again, honestly. I'm gonna go a little bit closer and then also a little bit further and we'll see how it does with both of those. But I think further away, again, we're just gonna see a little bit more dispersion in the, the specks themselves. Man, I really feel like a scientist. I'm not using any, any like uh, impressive terms or anything like that, but uh, yeah, just trying to get like a control group and then kind of changing it up slightly. Okay. Bruh. All right, so that's good. So let's try it from right here. Yeah, okay, so got a little bit more dispersion out of it and then we'll try it a little bit closer. I mean, but I gotta say blanks, are very fun when you get to use them in, in sort of circumstances like this and not necessarily the normal military applications we do with like playing laser tag with blanks and stuff. So this is different, but I mean, I kind of like it that I have the, the freedom to do a little bit more with these blanks. Okay. All right, let's try it. Yep. Oh, wow. That got a, I don't know if that one just like burned a little bit harder, but you can see, um, yeah, it, it definitely burned the, the paper there quite a bit more. Um, again, I don't know if that was the difference in the blank or literally just because we were so close, all the gas is just kind of like pushed back on itself. Okay, so that was pretty cool. All right, next we're gonna move on to the wood. Again, I wanna see what sort of like burn pattern we can get. So I'm gonna try and get a little bit close for this one. Um, and again, try and let the, the gases sort of fold in on themselves just so we can kind of see how that's going to look. Man, it's so nice that things aren't just getting blown all over the place, I gotta say. Okay, let's do it. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, we definitely had a lot of that. You can see a lot of the powder sort of <laughs> just piling up on the on the surface there. But yeah, that's our, that's our burn. Now, I don't think I'd feel comfortable going any closer than what we just did, but that's a pretty pretty good little burn there. We'll try a little bit further away and see how that is. But that's pretty much exactly what I was expecting. But again, even for like a barrel this short, I feel like we're getting a pretty good sort of uh, like spread or like directional spread. Now we're gonna try it with the MP5 and see what kind of effects we can get with that. The rest of the stuff, it's probably going to be the same. I mean, it's just the blank kind of 
pushing against paper and cardboard. But I think with this one, I think the spread of the powder is really going to decide what kind of pattern we get here. Okay, so let's try it with the, the MP5. Wow, that was a lot, yeah, okay, so that was a lot less impressive. And I think it was just because of the longer barrel. Yeah, okay, so we have the MP5 here and then the PPK here. So you can tell, yeah, obviously we lost a lot of that uh, the energy and that sort of uh, flame with the MP5 just because the barrel was significantly longer, which, I mean, I guess it, it makes sense, but you never really know. I mean, you can probably make a good assumption, but you never really know exactly what it's gonna look like until you try it. So that's what we're doing here. We're doing science-y stuff. All right, and HK, probably gonna be upset that I'm using their MP5 just to shoot blanks out of it, but I'll put this thing through its paces eventually, but it, it just looks cool for the video. I mean, it's an MP5, so. Okay, next up is the chalk, and I gotta flatten it down so it doesn't like roll away. Luckily, this um, table has seen better days, so I really don't feel too bad doing this. But, okay, so there's our chalk. And then I'm gonna use the MP5 for this one, just because we gotta get some more reps with the MP5, some more screen time. But I don't think it's gonna make too much of a difference. Again, I think it's kind of just going to, like, disturb the surface slightly. But I don't know, we'll see. Actually, okay, hold on, sorry. I gotta do the MP5 slap, huh? There we go. I guess that's a little bit cooler. Okay, so let's, I gotta like, <laughs> I don't know, three gun this. All right, let's try it. Oh, okay. I mean, the little cloud was kind of cool, I gotta say. Yeah, Road is definitely not gonna appreciate this either. Um, so yeah, it's kind of cool, I gotta say. I think the kids are gonna <laughs> appreciate it, I guess. But yeah, you got a little bit of a, a scorching there. And then again, it kind of just disturbed the surface a little bit. So I'm gonna get a little bit closer and hit it with the uh, the PPK so we can kind of see, uh, I'm, I guess, how much power we can get on this chalk, or I guess how deep of, of a crater, really, because that's kind of what we're trying to do here, is just bust this thing up a little bit more. All right, let's see what the PPK does. Bruh. Yeah, again, that cloud is so cool. Yeah, so that was definitely uh, more satisfying. So we got more scorching for sure. Um, the crater still isn't really that deep, which is kind of understandable because of the density, but it did push out a little bit more to the side just because of how close it was. And I guess it just had a little more of that power. Okay, so next we're gonna move on to the Kevlar. Again, with this, it just ends up catching a lot of the, the gunk coming out of the barrel, but it is kind of cool to see if we can sort of punch through it or rip up the Kevlar. Kevlar's pretty strong stuff and it is weaved together. So it's pretty freaking resilient. But again, we've seen some pretty crazy stuff with these blanks. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to see some damage that we kind of didn't expect. Okay, that kind of works out. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this quickly because it's probably gonna fall. <laughs> okay, I wanna try and capture this actually. <laughs> so we got a bunch of little granules <laughs> so and that's you can clearly see that's just gunpowder um so it kind of just collected it there and then it collected it in a nice little pile which is very very cool so let's try and yeah, and then of course it scorched it a little bit. So I wanna get a little bit closer just to kind of see what difference that actually makes. I'm gonna try and get as close as possible and I think it's gonna be fine. We're not gonna get too much backblast because the Kevlar is malleable. So it's not going to like, it's gonna absorb it as opposed to kicking all that stuff right back out at me. So let's try and get a little bit closer. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I still felt a little bit of that powder sort of coming back at me, but yeah, um, definitely it, it didn't rip through. I mean, it's it's Kevlar. It's it's meant so bullets don't go through it. So I think um, blank powder is uh, yeah probably not going to get through it too well. But yeah, you can tell it did capture it. Did definitely disturb the Kevlar there, which is again always kind of cool. So 
Yeah, there's that. I mean, I can show this to my buddies and say I, I took some some rounds to my body armor or something. <laughs> that's that's a cool thing to do. Just have fake war stories. Of course, at that point, I would just get made fun of because um, yeah, that's that's not really what body armor looks like when it takes rounds. But <laughs> all right, next is going to be the carbon fiber. Now, again, I want to save the bell pepper for last because I think that's going to be the coolest. But I need to be careful with this carbon fiber. I want to get close so we get some good effects, but I want to make sure I'm not catching a whole lot of this. So I'm going to do it at a slight angle. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. It, it, didn't, it didn't do anything. I'm going to try with the MP5, but yeah, it's, it's carbon fiber. So it's pretty strong stuff. Um, People swear by it for this specific reason because it is, it's very strong. But again, you never really know what it's going to do until you actually go and do it. All right, now we're gonna try it with the MP5. I can get a little bit closer because I have some standoff. Try not to freaking knock my mic off again. Hmm. Yeah, it, it's really not doing anything. <laughs> it's as we expected, you know, with our, uh, our hypothesis. It's kind of just, I mean, it's kind of disturbing the surface, but that doesn't really mean anything. It's kind of just scraping the weaves together and, you know, making that sort of look right there. But yeah, it's disturbing it. Um, probably not affecting the structural integrity whatsoever. So that's as to be expected, I guess. Okay, now for the bell pepper. This, I think it's gonna be cool. I really hope I'm not disappointed. But with these blanks, you never really know. I mean, with the with the AK blanks, you couldn't be disappointed because those are just insanely powerful. Where's my magazine? All right, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the PPK and then we're gonna try the MP5 as well. And depends on how long this bell pepper lasts, we can try it out a few different distances. But first, I'm gonna try and get really close. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty freaking satisfying. So, wow, that's so cool. I mean, it, it's a it's a soft bell pepper, but the fact that you can kind of like see inside is, is kind of cool. But yeah, made a pretty neat hole, made a pretty cool sort of burn pattern like splash there as well. Okay, so now we're gonna try a little bit further away and then we're gonna move to the MP5. But okay, I was satisfied with that. Hopefully you guys were, were satisfied with it too. Again, with like the hollow nature of it, and also because this is an older pepper, I feel like it's just going to take take everything, like every sort of little granule, take all that power and do something kind of interesting with it. <laughs> okay, I caught a little bit of a back splatter there from the bell pepper, but yeah, so you can see that. Not as much of a burn because it wasn't as close, but it still punched a pretty good hole in it which is understandable. I mean, it is a uh, it is a bell pepper. Now, we did this before with, uh, I think it was the P90. I forgot which one, but we tried it on a pumpkin and it did like a really solid, like deep hole in the pumpkin, which is kind of impressive because, you know, it's a, it's a pumpkin. It's, it's not like a bell pepper. Those things are pretty resilient. So that was kind of cool. With this, I mean, yeah, it's, I guess it's not as impressive because, sorry, HK slap. It's not as impressive because it is, a bell pepper, but still. Okay, MP5, not knocking off my microphone. Let's do it. Hmm, yep, okay. So just, it splattered it a little bit more. So we actually had a little bit more dispersion there that time. Okay. Of course, I landed right on the truck and also right on my freaking foot here. <laughs> yeah, so again, it's always kind of fun to see what these blanks can actually do. Because again, a lot of people would assume that blanks don't really do a lot of damage. A lot of people will also assume otherwise, and they would be correct, especially with, again, I, I got to keep referencing that AK blank because that thing was just insane. But yeah, blanks can do a lot of damage. It, it, it shows, I mean, even in the military, you kind of understand you're not supposed to shoot that close because there's a lot of gunk coming out of the barrel and whatnot. But 
I mostly get these blanks so I can use them in other videos, mainly stuff inside buildings, like nice buildings, actual houses. So I'm not shooting live rounds. Um, so that's pretty much what I get the blanks for. But again, I mean, I have a bunch of these and I don't use them that often. So it's kind of cool to expend some doing videos like this. But I wanna know what you guys think about the, the, the stuff that I actually shot. If there's some particular mediums you would like me to try and shoot at, um, cause I don't know. I mean, I've tried, I've tried cans that wasn't really that impressive. Maybe like slime. If we can do slime next time, that might be kind of cool. Cause I think it'll kind of be like clay where it'll take all that blast and sort of form a cavity. So I guess that would be kind of cool, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If there's anything particular you guys want me to shoot, then, uh, let me know. But honestly, I'm thinking of just bringing those again. I'm thinking of just bringing those AK blanks back because those were just insane especially since it was such a short barreled ak you had so much like a, a fireball just coming out of that thing 22 yeah i mean we expected this to be the most underwhelming and i think it was um but yeah the 12 gauge blank the ak blanks those were freaking <laughs> those are insane but i mean what are you going to use a freaking 12 gauge blank for besides just like making a big boom i guess but yeah that was a lot of fun so if you guys can think of anything else to use the blanks for let me know uh, again, I think it's nice that these aren't as destructive because I can use it with other things. I'm trying to think of a way to shoot nerf darts with the blanks because I don't think it'll bust up the darts too bad. Or maybe we can get like those, those stomp rockets or like those footballs and try and find a way, almost like rifle grenade it. So I'm going to try and find a way to do that. Um, but if you guys have any other ideas like that, let me know because... I think once you've been shooting on rollerblades, everything else is kind of just fair game at that point. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you want some access to like behind the scenes content or some extra footage, you can check out the Patreon or the channel membership so you can get access to that. Cause I gotta say the view coming up here today was, uh, it was pretty freaking insane. So I'm gonna put that on the Patreon, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. That is it for this video. I will see y'all in the next one.